Right, I'm here with uh, two priests and two deacons and Andrew Rains, who's been uh, running the, uh, the retreat uh, for the last three days. Uh, so left to right, we've got Hannah. Hello. Hello. And uh, we've got Eddie. Hello. Andrew, you're in the middle. Hi there. And Alex, and then we. Hi. Hello to you all. Hello. Um, so Hannah and Eddie, you're the deacons to be. Yes, we are. And Alex and Rhi, you're the priests to be. Is that right? Yeah. Um, I'll start with you, Andrew. What's the last few days been like here on retreat at Wally Abbey? Well, I think the retreat's just been an opportunity to uh, press the, the pause button for, uh, for a couple of days, just have a time to, to relax and, and to rest outside the parish context, and just to pray together, to worship together, to read the Bible together, and think about this uh, next step as uh, people enter a new season of ministry. Yeah. Have you led one of these retreats before? No, no but I don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> so what was, what was that experience like for you? I, I really enjoyed it, actually. We, we looked at um, one, of, one of the books of the Bible, the book of Titus, which is uh, actually very contemporary when you read it because uh, it's a, a place that is not particularly conducive to, uh, to church growth. And yet the Apostle Paul says church leadership is absolutely vital if we're going to see healthy churches transforming communities. So it's very relevant to our vision as a diocese. Absolutely, we have got that vision. Um, and Hannah, what's that vision mean to you, the, the vision that we're now looking towards 2026 with? I think for me it's about encouraging the people in my congregation to be disciples themselves, to own that for themselves and to be you know, studying their Bible, praying, reading, meeting with other Christians and having the confidence to go and share their faith with those that they work with, those in their families, those at home, those that they don't yet know. So it's about equipping the people we've already got to go and spread the good news wider. Absolutely. And, and Eddie, you're the, uh, I'm right in saying, the youngest of uh, all the ordinands this, uh, this time. And uh, what's that like? <laughs> <laughs> um, 24 years old. So very young for an ordinand. So from your point of view, I mean, what does that mean for you? Because obviously you've got the future of the church in your hands. Well, I keep being told that I could have 45 years yeah, to go. Yeah, exactly. Like but, um, um, I think it's nice to um, be here with a range of different ages sure. and their uh, different backgrounds and uh, recognise all the different experiences and gifts that people bring. Um, but it's quite nice um, for well, this whole, uh, the last couple of months has been a real growing up time for me and I've suddenly realised now that um, things are getting quite real, I suppose. And, um, and so I've sort of uh, spent these last few days thinking that it's time to uh, to hit the ground running yeah. over the next weeks and months. Yeah. I'm going to stop it there. Uh, we've, we've moved under cover now because the, the rain was just coming down a bit too far. But Alex, nice to see you. I think uh, you were, the other day when I was chatting to you, you were telling me a great story about um, uh, an experience that you had in one of the assemblies you were leading. That's right. Yeah, about yes. what somebody thought that you were going to do this weekend. Yes, that's right. Tell doing, me a bit about that. I was doing the assembly at primary school just before coming away on retreat and uh, I was telling the, the children how I would be changing into something different over the weekend and I asked the children if they could guess what that might be and the little boy put his hand up and I said, yes, what is it? He said, are you going to become a bear? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no. No, it's not a bear, it's something else. Unfortunately, somebody did know, and so it yeah. worked out all right in the end. And uh, so you are obviously going to become a priest. And yes. I mean, what, all, all joking aside, I mean, what does that actually mean to you personally? Uh, it, well, it's very special. I'm very, very much looking forward to the ordination and being able to go on and celebrate uh, the Holy Eucharist with my congregation is something that is just uh, something that I've been looking forward to and I can't wait for that occasion, which will be on Sunday after the big day. And also looking beyond that and uh, to, you know, be able to support other churches and to get involved in weddings and things like that. It's just fantastic. It's just another step of the journey. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we really, that, that point about being able to celebrate communion for the first time, you looking forward to that as well? Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Really yeah. excited, but at the same time terrified. Am <laughs> I allowed to say that? <laughs> yes, of course you are. Yeah. And why, why the terrified? <laughs> Because I don't want to mess it up. I yeah. always get things wrong when I'm nervous. So I have all that sort of thing to look forward to. Yeah. But I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure God will be with me and I can be quiet and calm all day. Absolutely. And uh, will you have family there when you celebrate communion yes. for the first time? Yes, yeah. I've got um, two grown up kids. They're 18 and 20, 20 today. Um, and they'll be there on Sunday. Super, right. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it will go fine. And don't, don't need to be terrified at all. <laughs> Thank okay. You. And, and just back to you for, for a final comment, Andrew. Um, we've got 15 ordinands this year. The future of the Church of England in good hands, do you think? 
it's not the way in the Lord's hands. Uh, but we need to pray for more because um, yeah. we're all getting older. And so we need to see uh, churches that are going to produce leaders from our own diocese. So that's the big challenge, I think, for us as a diocese. Absolutely.